We've been hearing about the Aprilia RS660 ever since the Italian firm unveiled its mid-range sport bike at EICMA in 2019. At the time, the model was set to launch in early 2020, a launch that obviously didn't happen due to this little thing called COVID-19 that caused substantial supply chain and production delays and forced organizers worldwide to cancel and reschedule their gatherings. Almost six months after the initial launch date, the new Aprilia finally made its debut in California. The RS660 is exactly the type of sport bike you expect from Aprilia. With its compact format, dynamic lines and sophisticated features, you really get to enjoy the bike. Its most distinctive feature is the fairing that plays on Aprilia's signature design. The daytime running lights underline the headlights and openings on the nose contribute to the aerodynamics. At the back, the design ends on a 3 LED port taillight cluster. At its core, the RS660 is powered by a parallel twin derived from the V4 found in the Tuono and the RSV4. Though mathematics is a science of precision, it's often limited by engineering, which means that instead of a 550cc, that's half of the 1100cc V4, the displacement was increased to 660cc, also to meet the Euro 5 emission standards. The liquid cool parallel twin features four valves per cylinder, a 270 degree dual overhead cam, and uses a combustion chamber, pipe, cylinder, and piston design inspired by the V4. Aprilia's main objective with this model was to respect certain dimensions and weight figures, which it achieved using innovative solutions including the use of offset cylinder integrated into the crankcase to reduce the block's internal friction and exterior dimensions. Those measures result in one of the lightest, most compact engines in the segment that produces 100 horsepower at 10,500 RPM and a peak torque of 49.1 pound-feet at 8,500 RPM. The mechanical and electronic components work hand-in-hand hand as this model also features a 6-axis IMU and the Aprilia Performance Riding Control System. The electronics include 8 levels of traction control, switchable anti-wheelie control, cruise control, cornering ABS and engine braking control. The 6-speed transmission with up and down quick shifter relies on an assistant super clutch and a ride-by-wire throttle teamed with 5 riding modes, 3 for the road and 2 for the track. Chassis are one of Aprilia's strengths and for the RS660 the engineers have come up with a cast aluminum frame and swing arm. The former is built from two lateral beams attached at the head and at the back and uses engine as a stress member. The latter is a monoblock unit attached directly to the engine that takes advantage of the Kayaba monoshocks position on the frame to obtain optimal support even without any leverage. At the front, the bike sports a KY adjustable 41mm inverted fork. The bike comes in a choice of paint jobs inspired by some of Aprilia's most iconic models. In addition to the apex black colorway, reminiscent of the firm's racing team colors, the model also comes in lava red, inspired by the RS250 Reggiani replica, and a color called acid gold which is inspired by AF1 Futurus sulfuric yellow paint. The 17-inch wheels are wrapped in Pirelli Diablo Rosso tires and feature a pair of 320mm discs with Brembo 4-piston calipers at the front and a 220mm disc with Brembo calipers at the rear. All this sounds like a great deal for an entry-level bike, but how much exactly is Aprilia's entry-level? For now, we only have the European price which is set at €11,050. Converted US dollars, we are looking at roughly 13,000 US dollars. Pre-orders are now open in Europe for those of you who have been impatiently waiting for the bike. As for the US enthusiasts, you'll have to wait a bit longer as Aprilia has yet to announce North American availability. Hopefully we can get to hear the good news sooner than later. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about the new RS660 and do you think this will be the best new motorcycle of 2021? We definitely feel so and are really excited to see the RS660 in flesh. Hope you liked this video, if so, please hit that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.